My, my name is Dan Rizai. Uh, I'm introducing the, a new upcoming exhibit, which is um, done by Water's Edge artists, and it's also a tribute to Kitty Klisch, um, who is a past uh, president of our, our group. Um, she had, had passed away in 2019, and I'm the current present, president of uh, Water's Edge artists and we are at Gallery 110 North in Plymouth, and the upcoming reception for Waters Arts Artist Show is the 9th, uh, Friday the 9th, from 5 o'clock till 7 o'clock. Um, so that's this, this Friday. And um, in coordination with the art show that we have in about 70 paintings, 10 of them are kitties paintings, um, the, we ha also have kind of a unique thing, part of the tribute to Kitty, uh, one of her gowns that's uh, from Las Vegas that she used to perform, or she used to wear when she performed in Las Vegas. So that's kind of a unique portion of, of this exhibit. And um, we'll be showing her gown and a tribute to Kitty, you know, throughout the the show here, so. And I just wanted to explain Water's Edge Artist somewhat. Now, we do paintings mostly outside. Of course, a lot of us have studios as well. But this is the setup that we would use uh, when we're doing the paintings outside. And um, we have the, the palette here and canvas or board have, uh, you may have. and. We would just paint outside, whether it be uh, rainy weather or winter weather, uh, spring or summer or fall. Um, it's uh, a great thing to just be outside and, and, and do your paintings as you go. And I, this easel has been outside at 10 below zero already. And uh, a lot of the art, artists that are in this group are very hardy and they will go out and paint in just about any, any kind of weather. Just a little history of Water's Edge Artists. Uh, we were founded in 2006 uh, by our um, founding member, uh, Benita Budic. And uh, this is one of her paintings that's, that's in the show. And this year actually marks our 15th year anniversary for Water's Edge Artists. And what Water's Edge Artists does, we're, we're, we're painters for preservation, and um, we work in coordination with different groups that preserve water and uh, watersheds, and also um, landmarks that have historical value as well. Uh, monies that are, are uh, made through the, the paintings and selling of the paintings. Um, some of that is donated to different groups, um, and that's, that's what we've been doing for about 15 years. And to date, we have donated approximately $85,000 uh, to these different groups that support our efforts. And uh, some, of the, some of the groups that we've supported is uh, Northeast Wisconsin Land Trust, Door County Land Trust, and Wisconsin Maritime Museum, and Woodland Dunes Nature Center, and other environmental organizations who support our efforts in uh, challenged watersheds and historic preservation. So that's uh, what our founding member, uh, her main goal was to support these, uh, all of these uh, different uh, recipients that are worthy of our cause and supporting our cause. As a tribute to our, our past uh, president, uh, Kitty Klisch, uh, we have borrowed this wonderful gown from her husband, uh, which will be eventually donated to Las Vegas at a museum after this show. So this will be one of the only times you can see this unless you go to Las Vegas. Um, most of us know Kitty Klisch 
as uh, an artist, of course, and a teacher. She taught uh, quite a while at the Plymouth Art Center here at, at Gallery 110. And uh, another role that she had was a painting gallery show um, where she would actually do paintings um, in front, you know, step by step paintings in her show. And she would also invite artists and interview them during the show. That was another role that she had. Um, and also working with uh, the Plymouth Art Center, uh, another role that she had is uh, a tour guide. Uh, she would take people to plays and uh, different musicals. Um, she would organize that, and get a bus together, and go out to these different uh, locations, be it Chicago, Milwaukee. Um, I attended one up in Green Bay as well. And um, that side of Kitty is what most of us know as, but um, her early days, her younger days in Las Vegas, you know, this is one of the gowns that she actually wore while she was performing in Las Vegas. And uh, not many people know that side of the story. We were sitting in an area, I think it was the Plymouth Arts Center, and we were just talking and chatting, and a, a, a pretty young lady had walked by, and um, I kind of just nodded to Kitty, you know, noticing the lady, and she noticed her too. Um, I, I said to her, well, I, I bet you probably, you know, were that, you know, look, looked that good when you were in your Las Vegas days. And she kind of looked at me and she, she shook her head and she said, no, I was, I was a lot prettier than that. And I, that, that just, it was such a, a fun moment for me. And, and that was before I seen, uh, you know, one of her portraits of her in this gown. And the portrait is actually a scene, an iconic scene to me that, um, is the Marilyn Monroe scene. You know, that's, that's how pretty she looked at that time when she was performing in Las Vegas. And it's just a fun little um, time that I shared with her. And uh, she shared some of her past with me. Watershed's Artists, Painters for Preservation, is an alliance of plein air artists dedicated to artistically recording historic, endangered, or threatened places. As artist activists for 15 years and continuing, WIA's mission is accomplished by contributing portions of their sales to artwork, of our artwork, to organizations that support watersheds and historical sites. The members engage with nature largely by painting and plein air, which means direct from nature. They may gather together, go far afield, or simply spend time quietly creating in their own backyards and communities. Artistically capturing and celebrating these wild, watery places and storied sites means being out in all kinds of weather, during seasons of sun and snow and solace and slumber. You can find them painting partners at each elbow or just around the bend. Sharing this unique sense of place and connecting with you, the viewer is at the core of what plein air artists do. Plein air artists do. WIA is an organization that focuses on this process going full circle. From painting and framing selected pieces to then exhibiting and promoting these artworks for the benefit of all involved. Now this painting here is kind of unique in that it has three triangles for the canvas. Um, and this one is by Kitty Lynn Klisch. Um, it is named Cathedral Rock on Vortex. And it's from Ariz uh, Arizona. And one of her um, excursions when she traveled, she did travel quite a bit uh, and, and did paintings while she traveled. Um, she did go to Ireland and I know some other countries as well in her excursions, but this is just one that's in the States. That's a, a wonderful piece and very unique in the 
three triangle shaped canvases. Now we are a plein air group, but a lot of our group does paint in the studio as well. Or we take plein air studies and then paint from them studies a larger piece. And this, this may be one of the larger pieces that um, Kitty had done from a study. Here we have two paintings uh, done by Kitty Lynn Klisch. And the top one is uh, entitled Sheboygan Falls. And of course that was painted in Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin. Um, that was a piece that I, I had purchased from Kitty a while back. Um, I think it's the only one in the show that's not for sale. But that was done plein air and you know painting on site. And then the lower painting here is Keel Dam in uh, Keel, Wisconsin. And I I was actually with K Kitty when she had painted this, this site and this scene um, outside. Um, it, this painting, particular painting, was done with a, a palette knife. And that's just the metal knife and, you know, rather than a brush. Um, the top painting was done with a brush. But you can see the texture um, on this painting that when she used the, uh, the palette knife, um, it really kind of stands out. Uh, when you use the palette knife and it, it gets, gets a different effect than using, using a brush. Um, and that's something that I like to do too with a, a palette knife once in a while just for something different. This particular piece uh, that's in the show is one of mine, um, Daniel Rear's eyes. Um, it's entitled Stoners on the Beach and it was painted in Algoma, Wisconsin. And the stoners I'm referring to is people that were walking on the beach that day. They would collect these larger flat rocks. And um, one of them approached me and, and told me what they were going to do with the rocks. They actually collect these rocks that are uh, flat enough to paint on them. And then they go and hide the rocks in different random places. and. Um, they, it, they can, people can go find the rocks. They, they give them hints of where the, these rocks would be. And um, it's just something fun that uh, these stoners that were looking for rocks while I was painting um, that day in Algoma. Um, but it's a beautiful scene of, of the um, Algoma area. And this painting was done with a palette knife rather than a brush. And you can see the different textures um, especially like in the sky and the water. You can really see the textures and it's amazing how detailed you can get with a, a small palette knife, which is a metal knife. Um, the people in the scene were all done with a, a small palette knife um, as well as the rest of the scene. This piece here uh, is done by Cynthia Tumpach. Um, it's called Peaceful Morning and it really depicts to me the, what a Water's Edge Artist is all about and, and capturing a scene with the water and she's, she's got a crane in, in the scene as well. Um, it's, to me it's really, really done well and, and depicts what Water's Edge Artist is all about and raising money for um, different watershed areas and preservation of the water. Um, and going back to uh, Kitty uh, when she had run our, our group as, as a leader. Uh, she was instrumental in my development as an artist. Uh, I took one of her outdoor painting classes right at the um, Plymouth Art Center here, right in the backyard of the Plymouth Art Center, and then another one outside of Plymouth um, when I was first starting to paint. And um, she was very instrumental in getting me step started in the painting procedures and uh, setting up an easel and knowing how to do it outside because it's a lot different than doing it in the studio. Um, this piece here by Cindy or Cynthia is, you know, it, it could be a plein air. I'm not really positive on that, but it, it may well be a studio piece that she did off of a, a smaller plein air piece. So, um, some other nice words with past presidents. Uh, one is Chuck Eaton here. Kitty has always 
been ready and, and set up to do whatever ever is needed to be done. Whether it was taking on the duties of treasurer or running all the meetings uh, when I was out of town. And our um, founder and artistic director uh, of WIA, our Water's Edge artist, Bonita, shares that Kitty's unbridled infusion of interest and enthusiasm of seeking and showcasing events and promotion opportunities was her special brand of caring considerations in support of art and artists. She organized, facilitated, and net, or her, her networking skills also um, in her pursuit of adventure and her genuine warmth was so welcoming to participants for a painting holiday in Ireland that uh, Bonita and, and Kitty took, took part in. She invited Water's Edge artists to many, uh, many times as guest speakers and demonstrators on her gallery works and City of Sheboygan uh, production show. We are eternally grateful that she shared all with Water's Edge artists and we salute and honor her generosity of spirit. Here we'd like to show the difference between uh, watercolor and uh, oils. And in this uh, first uh, painting here that we're showing, um, it is watercolor done by Robert Thaker. Um, Outing on the lake is, is this piece here. And uh, that's done plein air, uh, as well as this next piece here. This one is an oil painting uh, done by Cynthia Tumpach. Um, the title of it is Cave Point Landmark. Uh, so we just wanted to showcase the difference between the watercolors and the uh, oils, which are you know, generally done on site for most of our works. And I wanted to share the opening reception at the gallery 110 North is coming up which is this Friday on April 9th from 5 to 7. There will be entertainment for the full two hours and the artists will be present. So it would be nice to visit and speak to the artists um, while, while uh, looking at this event or looking at the artwork. The event lasts through the end of April and during the event, too, we're having a couple paint outs, uh, which we'll be painting in the Plymouth area on April 9th through and the, the 10th. Um, I think the times for that is 9 till 3 in the afternoon. Um, so that'll be in Plymouth, April 9th and 10th. And then we'll be also, Waters of Jardis, we'll be painting in Sheboygan April 16th through the, and the 17th. Again, the times 9 o'clock till three o'clock, and that's in uh, Maywood Park in Sheboygan. So by uh, purchasing any of this artwork in the show, some 70 pieces, you will be supporting uh, water, land, water sheds and historical um, sites, and you'll also be supporting uh, the Plymouth Art Center, of course, that's putting on this wonderful show and you'll also be, of course, supporting the artists. So stop by and, and check out all these wonderful pieces. The, this show is very outstanding in, in my eyes. Uh, these artists are, there's a lot of award-winning artists in this show. So please, uh, please join us.